Hello there, Sagittarius, and welcome to your dream messages. I hope you guys are doing well out there. And this is a new video, a new reading, so I do hope you enjoy this. Um, and also, Sagittarius, this is going to be for August 15th through August 30th of 2023. And what we're going to do, Sagittarius, is find out um, everything that we can um, when it comes to your dreams and... Um, you know, what are your dreams trying to tell you that's important here? So let's go ahead and find out for Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius's dreams? Oh, yeah, you guys might be feeling a little bit indecisive or for some, you may be feeling at a crossroads or even feeling a little lost. We're not sure whether to go backwards, forwards, up, down, sideways. Um, so your dreams are telling you that it is time to make a choice and to have confidence in your choice here, okay? Or for some, there may be just a little bit of, um, you know, stalling when it comes to taking a lead on something here, okay? Some of you, I don't know why I'm picking up something though that's going on in your reality is maybe there is a sense of distraction, okay? Um, but your dreams are telling you that it is time to make a decision or make a choice um, when it comes to leading the way, okay? You're no longer going to wait for anything. Let's see what else is uh, coming out when it comes to what your dreams are trying to tell you that's important here, Sagittarius. You do need to take a nap. I feel that there's an inner knowing here as well, Sagittarius, um, when it comes to maybe taking some time um, maybe we do need to stall a little bit longer here so that we can get much needed rest or get messages here. So some of you, it's really funny, even in your dreams, you might be dreaming about relaxing a lot more because there may be something that's feeling unsettled within you. We may feel that we're not getting, um, something done here, or, you know, there may be a sense of feeling a little stressed maybe unconsciously for some of you, uh, when it comes to, you know, having to do something at a certain time here. But I am getting this thing that you are receiving messages big time. <laughs> so some of you, it may be wise to maybe journal down what you can remember when you wake up in your dreams. You're certainly receiving messages in your dream state. Now, for some of you too, there's something here where I'm getting something about you seeing the signs. So something's happening in your dream state um, and your reality when it comes to showing you the way or showing you what you need to see here. So I feel a lot of you are sensing or picking up some signs, some omens, or just trusting your intuition a lot more. Um, whether it's taking a nap or meditating or just taking some time to visualize, do so okay because i feel that in your dreams you're getting a solution here or some answers or guidance here so let's see what else you need to know when it comes to your dreams and what your dreams are trying to tell you sagittarius and again this is going to be for august uh, 15th through august 30th 2023 for sagittarius and also sagittarius we are also going to be finding out um, what you need to know in your current reality as well, okay? Um, but let's continue and see what your dreams are trying to tell you that's important. What is Sagittarius's dreams telling Sagittarius that's important here? King of Pentacles, nice. You guys might even be dreaming about someone here. Some of you, there could even be, not all of you, there could be something going on here with like a father type um, energy here or someone who is got that like fatherly, um, you know, uh, aura about them, but not all. OK, um, I do see, you know, maybe for some of you taking the time that you need to indulge in wonderful things. I feel that for some of you. There may be something going on in your dreams too, Sagittarius, where you're experiencing some type of abundance here, okay? So we're exploring something and that's actually aiding you and helping you make a decision. Yes, I do see for some of you, you could definitely be um, dreaming about a soulmate or someone in particular here that is showing up in your visions and your dreams, okay? I feel that there's, um, 
you know, deep reflection, deep teaching that's happening in your dream state here. Okay. Um, I also feel that your dreams are telling you that you guys have a knowing about something or someone that may not be up to no good. Now, when I'm saying that is I'm just picking up for some of you Sagittarius, there could be something or someone that's distracting or I don't know, maybe some funny business for some of you guys. Okay. Um, but I do see for some of you too, Sagittarius, that, um, your dreams are trying to tell you that you're also coming into a sense of comfort in life here. And it's okay to take your time to um, indulge in things, okay? Um, not, you know, not overdoing it. But yeah, I feel in your dreams, you're actually chilling out <laughs> and exploring. Oh, And yes, and maybe communicating here with another because we do have a person here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see, what else for Sagittarius? Uh, when it comes to Sagittarius's dreams here. Hmm. Take a moment and breathe. Yeah, your dreams are telling you to take it easy, Sagittarius. You don't need to rush into something. Hmm. And maybe for some, maybe rushing is not the wise thing to do because we do have a king of pentacles, which is a earth sign energy. So we're not really doing things too fast here. Yeah, your, your dreams are telling you to relax, breathe. There's going to be something about like, um, I mean, how this is fitting in your life too, Sagittarius, is like there's something that's expanding, okay, in your life here. Allow yourself room to breathe. And again, with the King of Pentacles, we are coming into, well, at least in your dream state, you're being told or shown some type of abundant lifestyle, um, you know, just, uh, you know, like these two wolves here are just indulging and taking time in the moonlight, um, seeing the beauty that's surrounding them, beautiful earth energies, you know, and taking some, sorry about the lighting there. There we go. King of pentacles. Okay. So taking your time, let's see what else. And some of you, if it comes to like maybe some type of, a business or career that's you know strong here when it comes to focus <laughs> or you know for some of you guys that might be what's you know at play here there's something about a solution here or um, maybe plans maybe long-term plans maybe long-term um, financial plans will be successful with effort and consistency what else for Sagittarius when it comes to Sagittarius's dreams? Yeah, you're in a place of regeneration. You do just need to take time. You're regenerating in your dream. And what I like is even in your dream state, your dreams are telling you to take it easy. Time for a nap. Regeneration here, okay? What I like is it's like, you know, this has almost been like, seems like been destroyed here. Some of you guys may have had some type of crazy um, awakening or a sense of some type of, you know, maybe even gone through a sense of uh, some type of lo loss for some of you, but your dreams are regenerating you and you're being shown how to regenerate oneself as well by taking advantage of these wonderful earth energies that are going on all around you. That's free. Okay. You don't have to pay to go outside. You don't have to pay to go, you know, look at the moonlight or indulge in um, much needed self-care for some of you, okay? So I feel some of you, you're meant to kind of be a little bit at this fork in the road. You're meant to take a little time out, okay? Better to go slow than to go fast and quick and, and make a bunch of mistakes on the way because we just did something too fast, you know? So we're doing things that are solid, practical, Things that are materializing um, abundance in one's life and how that fits your reality, okay? Because for some, abundance is just being able to have the freedom to do what one wants. Be out there, you know, out in nature, right? Having the time to enjoy the beauty that nature just provides naturally here, okay? Some, they, they like to spend money on vacation. I mean, whatever it is, okay? But anyhow, let's continue and see. Um, 
because I do see something significant. That one just wanted to fall. <laughs> I do see something significant here with uh, a soulmate too, or, you know, just somebody. Okay. Now it could be a friend. It could be a guardian from the other side that's coming through. Um, Co-create. You know, we're talking about this um, situation with your dreams. Um, it's like, okay, your dreams and the material realm. Okay. Really do speak to you you are being encouraged to create okay so take some time to breathe <laughs> you're receiving omens and messages and and in fact this is a great time for you to send messages you know before you check out at night or take your nap you know be clear about your intentions or be clear about what you want to show up in your dreams as well because spirit is saying it is time to get things going so i may I, I may even be picking up something like two of wands type of energy here you know so don't be afraid for some of you sagittarius don't procrastinate too long especially if you feel inspired to kind of take a even if it's a baby step towards you know a path here then do it or something that you want to create spirit is absolutely communicating to you in your dream state here giving you ideas or inspiration or the ability to just chill out <laughs> to make room for something new hmm what else a oh, peace you're being told that peace is going to be brought to your situation as well and maybe even a peaceful person because i just see this um the king of pentacles here very peaceful okay so be at peace with yourself in a situation there may be something here for some of you guys i don't know why i'm getting like justice possibly but i want to get a little bit more too with this piece when it comes to um sagittarius's dreams and why um oh goodness i'm like draw okay well let's see i accept that here and now is exactly where i'm at and that is the place of profound um learning i guess i'll take that one okay and i have a balanced relationship with time i use time well look at this this is all about this peace card and it basically just flew, flew out here <laughs> and this really does make sense too so some of you you may need to get out of your head about something that maybe it didn't go as planned or maybe there was something that you know, we just couldn't bring to fruition or, you know, there was some type of change, right? I accept that here and now is exactly where I'm at. And that's a place of profound learning here. So we've got this peace card. Okay. Your dreams are telling you to establish using your time well. Okay. Not too much of one thing or the other, right? You know, breathing, relaxing, taking time to co-create here, right? Um, I'm curious about my true nature. I seek to understand myself. So in your dreams and with that peace, I mean, you're really connecting to an aspect of yourself, Sagittarius, and getting to know yourself, getting to know your true nature and what's possible. See, this is why Spirit is saying you are being shown to, um, how to co-create with Spirit through your dream state here. And also, it's important to you know, give into your dreams that you hold in your, you know, that you want to create in your reality. I know myself deeply and I find myself worthy. Wow. That look at the King of Pentacles. That's someone who knows that they're worthy. And in fact, they, they're looking for quality stuff. Okay. Quality people, quality relationships, uh, you know, quality things in life. I know myself deeply and I find myself worthy. So some of you, you're exploring um, aspects of yourself in your dream state here. Okay. Either way, your dreams are telling you to be at peace here and to be curious about what's your true nature. Because remember, give yourself a chance. You're in this process of uh, regeneration. What else for Sagittarius? And also Sagittarius, this is a general reading. So if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, 
check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs, okay? You can also check out the playlist tab for um, some uh, timeless messages and also some monthly uh, readings that I just started on the channel as well. There's a card that flipped over, so let's look at it. Oh, I love this. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. A an excellent time for networking. And we even have co-create here. So, you know, I'm getting something about you attracting maybe um, a person or people collaborating here to bring something to fruition. Yeah, luck is on your side. See, even in your dreams, your dreams are telling you to relax here. Breathe. Be at peace. Some of you, it's like, it's almost like, you know, there's a card in here that there, I wouldn't be surprised if it comes out, but there, it's almost like this energy that I'm seeing too is, um, you know, soon any doubts or confusions will disappear. Oh, the, 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 the message is, um, I'm reading off of one of these cards, but I can see it through all of this. Um, your future positive signs will reveal itself. Any doubts or confusions will soon disappear because, look, a sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor here, okay? Let's see. What else for Sagittarius? Poise. <laughs> Have confidence and believe in yourself. You know, I'm seeing something about like, yeah, I know myself deeply and I find myself worthy. I really feel that a lot of you are finding yourself worthy, right? And deeply uh, loved by the universe, by others. So remain poised, okay? I feel that there's like a gift on its way or there's something that's just going to make you guys feel alive if you haven't been feeling that way. Remain poised. What else? else does Sagittarius need to know? I'm trying different things with the lights here, Sagittarius, so just uh, bear with me. I think the light is okay, but we'll see. <laughs> so we have the Queen of Wands. Hmm. We don't need to be restricted either here, okay? Some of you, you're dreaming about a person again. <laughs> Could be a female, doesn't necessarily have to be, okay? Um, but I, I, I'm getting this thing about, you know, this to me looks like what the Queen of Wands would be doing is being poised, knowing herself as worthy here, being in the here and now. Some of you, um, the Queen of Wands is, you know, it's really you guys absolutely being in your power because we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you know, co-create here. See, I'm trying something with the lights, you guys, but... I think that's working. Okay. Co-create here with spirit and have confidence. Okay. Because some of you guys, maybe even your dream state, you might be um, receiving some inspired ideas here. Okay. Let's get a little bit more with the queen of wands though. We got, uh, oh yeah, I already said fire sign. There may be something for some of you guys with a special uh, pendulum or a pendant or a necklace. Maybe you'll be receiving that. Maybe you're seeing, like, for some of you Sagittarius, there may be something here um, absolutely with symbol symbols in your dreams too, okay? Oh, I'm just noticing this eclipse here. Hmm. Maybe this Queen of Wands had to go through the eclipse of the heart here in a situation, had to rebuild herself. By the way, yes, I mean, goodness gracious, I see a lot of you guys not only going through a process of regeneration, but um, blooming something really new and beautiful in your life here that could be prosperous. I let go, I release, I am within I am within perfect possibility. So your dreams are saying have confidence here. Also, don't give in to any type of, um, not all of you, not all of you will resonate with this, but some, don't give in to any type of uh, jealousy or feeling competitive. 
just keep your eyes on your own thing here and you're going to be just fine. I mean, I just see you guys powerfully regenerating yourself and doing so um, beautifully, gracefully. This is why I just see a lot of you really standing out as well, okay? So some of you, you know, you may be um, really going through something in your dreams where we're... Um, revealing or looking at one's shadow aspect in a way of, you know, in a way that it doesn't damage you, it regenerates you, right? Because there's nothing wrong with having light and shadow. You can't be one without the other anyways. But you are perfect. You're a perfect possibility here. Okay, so I am seeing something too for some of you Sagittarius where um, there, there needs to be a little bit more freedom too for you to be creative. So try to find out in your reality, in your daytime or whenever you're not sleeping or taking a nap, how we can implement a little bit of time to give into um letting your ideas come to you or letting messages come to you or just spending some time to set your intentions here, okay? What else for Sagittarius? Some of you could have been in a fight with someone too here. There could have been some um, angry words here for some. Chariot, look at this cancer energy is coming through. I love this too because for some of you guys, there may be something significant with a car or driving or a truck or whatever you, you know, whatever you can move around in life with. But some of you, you could be dreaming how to blast through some type of obstacle. Hmm. There could be some traveling as well that's going on here in your dreams. <laughs> Duh. I mean, obviously you are traveling, but you could be manifesting travel dreams. Let's get more with the chariot here. Why, uh, why the chariot for Sagittarius when it comes to dream messages? Why the chariot? Some of you guys, you kind of need to run free with something here. get more with this cherry and it's a beautiful unicorn too so some of you I mean Sagittarius I just see something that's unique about you that stands out here okay so don't be afraid to stand out if you need to by yourself okay I see the gateway is open and the pathway is clear my journey begins just oh my god and this is the chariot yeah, Chariot is all about your journey, okay? Preparing, getting ready, and allowing yourself to stay motivated and determined here because something is really going to take off for a lot of you guys. So you're seeing some type of gateway in your dreams. You're getting something cleared, okay? Remember, we need that too because look at this. We even have that fork in the road that's showing up in your dreams here telling you that the pathway is clear. And I was just telling you with that Chariot, it's about getting through obstacles here, okay? So you are going to overcome whatever you see as an obstacle. Now, some of you don't, don't let anything or don't let, you know, some obstacles like deter you either when it comes to some of your guys' goals, visions, okay? What else for Sagittarius? No place like home. <laughs> yeah, I feel that you guys are really um, connecting with, um, you know, feeling at home, right? Connecting to all. Maybe some of you, you're dreaming about a home or being at a place where, you know, we can just really set our roots down, right? But, I mean, I feel that there's something comfortable going on here in your dream state. So, some of you, you're being encouraged to take more time out for yourself or more naps, okay? Give in to your dreams. And if you can't nap and dream, well, what we're talking about, maybe give in to your imagination to, you know, co-create here. Maybe create a vision board or, you know, write down a journal of things that you want to have or that you um, desire, okay? And then just close that book and allow it to come to you by not obsessing about it too much, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's see, what else for Sagittarius? What else does Sagittarius need to know when it comes to what their dreams are trying to tell them? What is Sagittarius' dreams telling them? Look at that. The freedom to explore what's possible. Release, I mean, really being, I mean, look at this. I, uh, this is, you know, really in tied, tied in with this card as well. Let's see. I don't know how to hold that. I see the gateway is open and my pathway is clear. My journey begins. I mean, this is, I mean, literally the fool's card is your journey is beginning here. So yeah, you guys are getting ready to, um, okay. <laughs> you guys are getting ready to really clear something out, um, and to start a whole new journey. Some of you guys, you may be finding in your reality that you're going to be heading off into a whole new direction here. Okay. Because your dreams are showing you something when it comes to having a little bit more uh, freedom in your life, okay? And how that fits. Some of you, you may be, you know, really releasing a lot of restrictions on oneself so that you can explore more. Now, there may be something here too where, you know, maybe your dreams are trying to tell you to take a risk with something here too. Hmm. Because we do have luck, a sudden change in luck. Let's see, what else? That's it, actually, for those. Um, and we have Aries coming through, too. Uh, so that's it for those dreams. But let's find out why is this important for Sagittarius to know when it comes to their dreams? Why is this important for Sagittarius to know? Oh, look at that travel see oh my god some of you guys okay oh and communication and we even had this in your dreams message in a bottle long distance communication will open up your life this is why your dreams are important can you see it oh my goodness exciting experiences for singles ooh, ooh, ooh. and career advancement for others see king of pentacles oh my goodness i mean by the way you could be like some of you guys are really like well off right now or you, you could actually i mean obviously keep doing something that's working in your life because i do see a lot of you guys being successful but you could be connecting with someone that might even have you know nice things in their life okay they may even have like a nice car or vehicle not that that matters but you know the, the chariot i mean we could even be traveling like you know, with an RV or something here, or camper trailer. <laughs> Either way, and why it's important is really connected to uh, this fool's card, which is connected to your dreams. I feel that a lot of you guys are going to open yourself up and take a risk with something here. Um, really just freeing your, your soul, your mind. Um, maybe even like releasing and decluttering here for some of you guys, okay? But it's important so that you can travel here. Or at least open yourself up to, you know, different things so that you are um, really in the flow of co-creating here with spirit so that you can, through your experiences, dabble in the things that you like and what you don't like, okay? And make your own recipe for things. So let's find out for you, Sagittarius, um, what, what do you need to know about your current situation for Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know when it comes to their current reality, their current situation? This is for August 15th through the 30th. What's important? Or excuse me. Um, well, I guess it's important if it's going to come out. <laughs> what does Sagittarius need to know when it comes to their... Okay. All right. What's going on? Oh, oh, Sagittarius. Gosh. Wow. Let's find out what the hell is going on with this Five of Pentacles. So, Sagittarius... Um, yeah, you guys may need to block something here. You may need, you may need to even block out external noises. Not all of you, but for some of you when it comes to the lack of or limiting ideas or influences from others that like to put restrictions on some of you, you may need to really take defense when it comes to your own thoughts, okay? Because you know, even negative thoughts can create 
you know, outcomes that we don't like, right? And so good thing we have a thing called time, right? Time lets you have that buffer to really use your intention on what you want to create, not what you don't want to create here. There may be something or someone too that spirit is saying you need to block out, okay? They could really have um, a mental state or an energy that just likes to be in, in, in the lack, okay? And so it's going to stunt one's growth. And I mean, you know, even in your dreams, you're getting a sudden change of luck is likely here. So some of you need to stay strong and really be really strong because I do see for some of you, we're feeling alone or we're feeling a sense of abandonment. Some of you ha may had to suffer financially here, but you have to stay strong and determined here, okay? Um, I want to get more with this Five of Pentacles. Why the Five of Pentacles when it comes to Sagittarius and what they need to know here? we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming through. Why the Five of Pentacles for Sagittarius? Assert yourself. Look, yes, go for what you want. See, this is about you going, going for what you want, standing up for what you know is right for you as well. <laughs> I mean, look at assert yourself. We got that seven of wands. We're like, oh yeah, we're going to assert ourselves. All right. What else does this say? Okay. And the time is right for soulmate connections. Um, you know, I've seen queen of wands and the king of pentacles here. Okay. Um, I'm seeing the uh, fool's card with the chariot. I do feel, hello, go after who or what you want. Okay. The time is ripe. See, this is why I'm getting this thing about you taking a risk with something or someone here. You never know where it can lead, right? So, nice. Let's see. Oh, yeah, this is about asserting yourself. And and for some of you, it's like there's something here where we've just got to block out some maybe internal dialogue or external dialogue or, you know, others' influences, especially, again, if it puts limitations on you. Okay, what else for Sagittarius's? situation and what they what do they need to know here surprise Ooh. a disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise look at the disappointment here in this five of pentacles okay this is a, a loss here okay but you don't have to go through something alone. In fact, I do feel that there's, there may even be a child that's at play here that is like, I don't know, that gives one motivation. Um, if it's not a child, then it's something new in one's life that's worth protecting, or it could even be some of your guys' business, okay? Because um, that's how I, I see, you know. <laughs> when you have a business, it's like having a baby. Anyhow, um, a disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise and an invitation. Listen, listen, said Sherry's an invitation could bring love to those searching or at least a pleasant surprise. OK, so you're going to, you know, what you need to know about your current reality is a pleasant surprise is on its way. What else for Sagittarius? I was just, okay, we got the Ace of Cups. And I was getting this thing, a lot of you Sagittarius, you maybe have already done this or maybe you'll be doing it in the future where I just see even some of you just, I don't know, becoming more, I don't know, not more authentic, but like releasing things that just don't even suit you, which is helping you guys really just not care. Like there's just, it's not that you're being careless about your looks or there's just something about, um, just loving who and what you are, no matter where you're at or what you have, okay? Making everything. It's almost like I'm seeing you waking up and just feeling excited about what the day can bring you, okay? And what the day can bring you is, my God, we were just getting this thing about love. So yes, there is a big thing about a lot of you out there, you know, 
an invitation could bring love to those searching. I mean, we have the Ace of Pentacles, okay? And also, you know, um, a significant thing about um, spiritual awakening here and um, enjoyment with that. So we have something that's very nourishing. So we've got an opportunity of some type of true love, true enjoyment here. We got um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What else does uh, Sagittarius need to know? Uh, see, I knew there was something going on here with the head here. I mean, we even have like, <laughs> see, some of you guys, you're not sleeping well. Some of you are. <laughs> some of you, something's keeping you up at night here. We could even be haunted by past actions or what we should have, could have done. But that's only going to lock you in a state of stagnation and some type of, you know, mental prison here. I want more with the Nine of Swords. We've got a card of stress and sleepless nights, maybe hidden uh, anxieties here that just come up at nighttime for some of you or when you're finding yourself alone. Let's get a little bit more with the Nine of Swords. What do you want Sagittarius to know about this Nine of Swords? Some of you, is someone worried about someone's health or could you be worried about your own health too for some of you? Hmm. Observer. Okay, Spirit is saying something about you guys just you know, taking, okay, not worrying, because there may be something here that you guys are feeling some type of pressure with time or something about that. But really, this is about you taking this moment to pause here, right, to observe what's really going on. It's almost like someone is observing their dreams or their stresses. Some of you, Sagittarius, try, a, try to practice detaching yourself from these thoughts in a way where, you're, you're trying to see where these thoughts actually stemming from and examine them. Don't be afraid to ask and probe <laughs> and dissect some of these thoughts because you're going to be surprised um, when you start to really look at them from a different angle and from a different perspective um, and from a higher sp perspective, they won't have as much control over you, okay? There may have been something here some of you guys may be observing and watching that you may need to stop that's causing some stress and anxiety, okay? But you do need to hold in your heart and your mind that you've got something to look forward to, okay? Some type of um, disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. What else for Sagittarius? Oh yeah, pleasant surprise. You know, I got the four of wands here. I was just getting this thing. I mean, oh my God, how cute. And it even landed on the no place like home because the four of wands represents home. It can represent commitment here, laying down our roots, having a time to enjoy and relax as well, okay? So I do see some of you guys um, going to maybe some type of party, gathering, maybe a wedding or, you know, some type of celebration here. So don't worry, Spirit is saying, your sleepless nights will turn into the nights of comfort, relaxation, happiness, nirvana. Now, if some of you guys are stressing about um, home in general or a living in a situation, you your, your worries are unnecessary, right? So the thing is, is... You're, I don't know why I'm picking this up for some of you, not all of you, but there could be this thing of, you know, it's not the right time. Could it be the right time? You got to quit thinking about the time so much, okay? You got to go with how you feel. Would it be good for you in this time right now? Not if like later something's better, right? We have to work with what we have right now and take baby steps towards those. But I'm getting this sense of three of wands because some of you guys, you might be worried about something like you're not going to get the results you need or there's just some type of unsettledness going on here, okay? Spirit is saying, watch, observe, okay? You're being um, shown something here from the heavens above to help you guys stay confident on your path. 
What else for Sagittarius? What else does Sagittarius need to know about their current situation? Eight of Wands. Really? Is that really the Eight of Wands? Oh my God. We got something really fast going on. And yes, I do see some type of um, news on its way very soon here too. So messages, news, invitations. Um, we could have something that sparks up too for some of you guys. Uh, I was getting something about water here or being near water that could um, introduce you to some type of new opportunity. Okay, anyhow. Um, we got a lot of passion though too with this Eight of Wands. So things will speed up. The momentum will happen here um, when the time is right. But I do feel that there's some type of important news and messages and invitations that you need to open up to um, and maybe take a risk at it, okay, for some of you guys. What else? Some of you could actually have like multiple suitors uh, for you singles out there or, oh gosh, I just like flipped. Okay, we'll see what's going on here. <laughs> see, you have a deep knowing. Look at this, oh, Sagittarius, you have a deep knowing here about your new life. This is why you know it's time to go. It's time to go away from things that glitter too much, right? It may look good at one, one time, but not so much. So some of you guys, again, I'm getting this thing where you're simplifying or you're just kind of letting go of like material items or not, not really material items or... I mean, not that it's, it's not bad or good. There's just at some times in, in one's life, we kind of go through a purging, we should say. So for some, it's either you're purging those kind of things out or you, you are realizing, um, I'm not going to be looking at all these cards because they're all flipped over. Well, I guess I will. There's a whole story here though. So let's just take, let's just take this because I do feel that you guys are, um, walking away from things. Hold on, hold on, Sagittarius. Yeah, see, you guys are in between worlds. See? Okay. Here, you see, look at this. You have this deep knowing, right? You've got this new life. Okay, time to go. It's time to go. Get away from those things that, you know, Maybe it did look good all at one time, but you are noticing something. You're figuring something out as well when it comes to all that glitters is not gold, okay? So trust that you are between worlds, and I do see a time of abundance, prosperity, or feeling very comfortable in life with this milk and honey. More than enough great things in life to be nourished by, to, um, to even share, okay? So trust that you are between worlds here. On your way to milk and honey, baby. Oh, you can't even see that. Okay, we'll put that one right there. What else for Sagittarius? Oh, Sagittarius. Oh, God dang, we're gonna get away from that. <laughs> I actually like where this devil landed because it landed right on the fool's card and time for a nap. So we're being, we're releasing some negative situations, circumstances, habits, a person or people here with that devil card. God dang. <laughs> okay. Capricorn energy. I want more with this uh, devil card. Why do you want, what do you want um, Sagittarius to know about this devil card here? What do you want Sagittarius to know? See, Sagittarius, I feel like there's, again, there's someone who lives in pride or in ego so much for some of you guys where it's like, you got to block them out, okay? Or for some, quit giving into negative thinking here, okay? The devil loves that. Devil loves for you to feel the scarcity, lack, feel like you got to cling on to something. Let's see. Let's go with, uh, let's see. Oh, excuse me. What more with this devil? What do you want Sagittarius to know when it comes to this devil? Whoa. Now, for some, Sagittarius, this devil could also represent you exploring things that may have, you know, was you thought to be taboo or 
you know, was not so good, but um, you're figuring something out that you are letting those things go and giving into what maybe some would say the, the dark side or just, you know, maybe a time of indulgence here, but let's get a little bit more here. I choose to take a higher perspective and widen my views. You know, this whole thing about expansion, yeah, I feel a lot of you guys are going to see something when it comes to really detecting. It's almost, okay, it's almost like Sagittarius, you're meant to go through this so that you can detect negative things, right? And not get trapped by it. So here you are choosing to take a higher perspective, which widens your views, which helps you detect negative things or negative people. Maybe even a negative situation within oneself, right? What else? Seven of Pentacles. Mm. Yeah, I feel there may be something about you guys really taking the time to reevaluate what's really going on in one's life here. Is it worth uh, continuing? Oh, let's get more with the seven of pentacles. And I know, cause I know this in your dream, you got that fork in the road too. Let's get more with the seven of pentacles. There is, uh, you know, a, a sense of having to nurture something, right? And we're waiting for a harvest. So we're waiting for that right uh, time. Commitment, okay, and look at this. Seven of Pentacles is a perfect card about commitment because we are tending to, we're nurturing, we're um, staying consistent with something. So there is a commitment that's indicated around love, <laughs> again, or business. It will make you feel better, okay? So have patience here, Spirit is saying. Now, for some of you too, don't be afraid. If it's time to, to move on to something new, then do that, okay? What else for Sagittarius? Oh my gosh, Sagittarius, put something to rest here. Okay, look at this, ten, ten of swords here. Some of you, you will be putting something to rest. I feel that you may, ha you may have um, gotten everything that you needed in a situation and it's okay to put something to rest. I see a big thing about recovery here, though. That's the important thing, okay? Now, some of you, you're definitely putting a, a chapter, or how do I, ending a chapter and starting a whole new chapter for yourself. And, and what are they doing in this Ten of Swords, you guys? Look at this. I'm trying to get to the better light here. Okay, how's that? Ah! Okay, we got the Ten of Swords. She's laying down, right? What is this? Take time for a nap? Time for a nap time for a nap what else manifestation oh my goodness see time for a nap because something can literally manifest right before your eyes a bountiful a bountiful okay we were talking about abundance a bountiful time awaits. Your wishes could manifest right before your eyes. So some of you guys, don't be afraid to maybe even end something or just put something to rest, okay? So that you can see what wants to manifest right before your eyes because you're definitely co-creating here with spirit. What else? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out what is um, the advice for Sagittarius uh, when it comes to their current situation. I mean, along with all this other advice, but <laughs> let's see if there's something in specific here for you, Sagittarius, okay? What's the advice for Sagittarius? For August 15th through the uh, 30th. Oh my God. Okay, love and honor is something that's going on right now. Some of you, Sagittarius, you've got a soulmate at play here. Okay, so for some of you, whether you have someone or not, act as if they're already here because you are attracting, a lot of you are attracting a beautiful soulmate into your life. Now, some of you, if you got that soulmate here, don't give up on that idea of love here and mending and healing, okay? But with time, right, we have to have patience with something here. It's all working out in um, your to your advantage here. 
So the advice is to, you know, love yourself, love, you know, the good relationships that you have, nurture them, nurture yourself, okay, if we don't have someone, <laughs> but hopefully you do, right? You got a mother, a father, brother, sister, cousins, friends, neighbor, somebody, a dog, a cat, a horse, a lizard, I don't know, you know, love them. Let's get more with the soulmates for the advice. Let's get more with the soulmates. Yeah, look at this. I told you life is conspiring for you. Oh. And your will, you know, I I will persist. My will is strong. Look at that seven of um, wands here because it's going to pay off. You're going to have the right connection or the, the right situation when it comes to soulmate and a soulmates, okay? Because life is conspiring for you, Sagittarius. I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.